in America we have positions of government. Those positions of government are pretty straightforward. They probably have job descriptions because they're positions of government. And openly, somebody somewhere probably had a brain in HR in terms of the hiring of people for there, unless it's totally left up to the president to hire everything, about what those positions are supposed to do. But maybe they don't have accountability job descriptions. And maybe those job descriptions don't have, look, this is your job for your community, your state, your government, whatever the hell your position is. This is your job for the military. But maybe that has to be the restructuring of the government that is done based on the legal aspects of America. But here's the deal that I'm making. Here's the point that I'm stating. Is that in every company across America, whether it's a huge conglomerate of hundreds of thousands of employees like General Electric or something like Thompson or something like Eli Lilly, or whether it's some sort of a company that's just a, a force of one, two, or three, that little triangle of trinity of people who are trying to work together to win for their families. Or maybe it's that mom and pop restaurant that's struggling to survive but does thrive because people love that eclectic stuff more than standard retail. Which isn't always true because people do like to value a similar meal that they can go back to time and time again. I'm an avid proponent of what people have in their habits. But I guess what I want to say to the American government is they're focusing in their marketing with their stupid ass little girl who can barely function correctly in that green room on the wrong thing. You see, the most important aspects of America are pretty straightforward to me. And I'm a man who's over 50. But here's what I think as a marketing director, a marketing strategist, a marketing trainer is this is what you be, should be focusing on if I was in the American government. War. War and peace is the first title that I'd be stating every part of my audio cast. Where are we at war in the world? In other words, who likes us, who hates us, and what do we need to know? What do we need to prepare for? To protect American citizens, and occasionally our guests, from war. In terms of peacemaking relationships, peacemaking attitudes, peacemaking efforts. What is an American citizen expected to do and perform as duties as an American citizen under the Constitution, under the laws, under the amendments, under the Bill of Rights, under whatever the fuck is governing us as citizens. Two, feed America. To feed America, we have to produce food that people actually eat in the most significant numbers and data and volumes of what people find as a treat. Feed America means we're going to talk about poverty, we're going to talk about job loss, we're going to talk about downturns in the economy, we're going to talk about the fact that people have to have money to eat. 